Hi friends, today we will talk about lactic acidosis. So let's begin. What is lactic acid? It is essentially a carbohydrate within cellular metabolism and its level rise with increased metabolism during exercise and the catecholamine stimulation. Glucose 6 phosphate is converted anaerobically to pyruvate via the embedded Mayerhof pathway. Lactate is the normal endpoint of the anaerobic breakdown of glucose in the tissue. The lactate exits the cells and is transported to the liver, where it is oxidized back to pyruvate and ultimately converted to glucose via the Cori cycle. So what is lactic acid? So it's basically, it is the end product of anaerobic respiration. Okay, when there is uh, poor or no oxygen supply to the tissues, maybe because of the poor cardiac output or any other reason, the cells needs energy, ATPs. So they will uh, try to break down the glucose via uh, anaerobic respiration. So if there is anaerobic respiration, for breaking down the glucose, the end product lactic acid will come. Okay. So with persistent oxygen depth and overwhelming of the body's buffering abilities, whether from the long-term dysfunction or excessive production, hyperlactatemia and metabolic acidosis ensue, commonly referred to as lactic acidosis. Lactic acid exists in two optical isometric forms. L lactate and D lactate. L lactate is the most commonly measure, measured level as it is the only form of produce, form produced in human metabolism. Its excess represents increased anaerobic metabolism due to tissue hypoperfusion. D lactate is the byproduct of bacterial metabolism and may accumulate in patients with uh, short gut syndrome or in those with a history of gastric bypass or small bowel resection. So let's see uh, the reason. It may be hypoxic or non-hypoxic. In hypo hypoxic, it may be because of the ischemia or uh, shock, severe anemia, cardiac arrest, global hypoxia, carbon monoxide poisoning, respiratory failure, severe asthma, co uh, COPD, asphyxia, Reason of hypoperfusion, limb, or mesenteric ischemia. Uh, in non hypoxic, it may be because of uh, delayed clearance, renal or hepatic dysfunction, uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase dysfunction, sepsis, thiamine deficiency, catecholamine excess, alcoholic and diabetic ketoacidosis, uh, uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation, cyanide, salicylate methanol and ethylene glycometabolites and the retroviral drugs uh, valpuric acid buganides INH accelerated aerobic glycolysis uh, increased effort sepsis seizure large uh, fructose loads and malignancies so hyperlactatemia versus lactic acidosis so what are the difference the normal blood lactate concentration in unstressed uh, patients is uh, 0.5 to 1 millimol. Patients with a critical illness can be considered to have a normal lactate concentration of less than 2. Hyperlactatemia is defined as a persistent mild to moderate means 2 to 4 uh, increase in blood lactate concentration without metabolic acidosis. Whereas Lactic acidosis is characterized by the persistently increased blood lactate level, usually more than 5, in association with metabolic acidosis. What are the type of lactic acidosis? Cohen and Woods divided lactic acidosis into two categories, type A and type B. In type A, uh, is lactic acid, acidosis occurring in association with the clinical evidence of poor tissue perfusion or oxygenation of blood. It can be caused by the overproduction of lactate or underutilization of lactate. In case of uh, overproduction, circulatory, or pulmonary and hemoglobin transfer disorders are commonly responsible. 
In type B, lactic acidosis is occurring when no clinical evidence of poor tissue perfusion or oxygenation exists. However, in many cases of type B lactic acidosis, occult tissue hypoperfusion is now recognized to accompany the primary etiology. In type B, is divided into three subtypes uh, based on the underlying etiology. In type B, uh, it occurs uh, in association with systemic disease such as renal and uh, hepatic failure, diabetic and malignancy. Uh, type 2, uh, I mean type B2 uh, is caused by uh, several classes of drug toxins including uh, vegonides, alcohol, iron, isoniazid, zeloboudin and salicylate. Type B3 is due to inborn errors of metabolism. It may be congenital. So let's see the etiologies. Uh, declines in cellular oxygen delivery leads to more oxygen extraction from the capillary blood. This action uh, redistributes the cardiac output to organs according to their ability to recruit capillaries and also uh, decreases the distance from the capillaries to the cells. With severe decreases in oxygen transport, the compensatory increase in the oxygen extraction ratio is insufficient to sustain aerobic metabolism. Therefore, the cell must employ anaerobic source of energy to produce ATP. It will result the generation of lactate and hydrogen ion. The most Frequent cause of lactic acidosis is poor tissue perfusion, uh, which is induced by the various shock states causing tissue hypoxia. In ischemic tissues of the skeletal muscle, and less significantly the intestine, erythrocytes, and brain, the production of lactate is accelerated with the concomitant fall in lactate consumption by the liver and kidney and myocardium. The accumulation of a normally balanced level of serum lactate overwhelms the body's buffering capacity and results in acidosis. Uh, how about the clinical presentation? The clinical signs usually indicates the tissue hypoperfusion, severe hypotension, oliguria, anuria, uh, deterioration of mental status, and tachypnea always are present when the cause of lactic acidosis is tissue hypoxemia. The clinical signs of impaired tissue perfusion uh, includes uh, hypotension, alteration in sensorium, uh, peripheral vasoconstriction, oliguria. Finding that may be a late manifestation of shock and that are relatively insensitive indicators of hypoperfusion are tachypnea, hypotension, uh, deterioration of mental status. Uh, small hyperventilation, deep sign and respiration uh, may be observed if the, if the severity of the acidosis is sufficient to elicit a degree of respiratory compensation. Uh, because sepsis accounts the, uh, for most cases of lactic acidosis if fever more than 38.5 degree or hypothermia less than uh, like 35. Commonly is present in addition to symptoms and signs indicating the organ where the sepsis originated. So let's see the management. Treatment is directed towards the correction, uh, correcting the underlying cause of lactic acidosis and optimizing tissue oxygenation. Cardiovascular collapse secondary to the hypovolemia or sepsis should be treated with fluid replacement and vasoactive drugs with the goal of rapid restoration of cardiac output. Both crystalloids and colloids can restore the intravascular volume, but hydroxyethyl starch solution should be avoided owing to increased mortality. Normal saline administration can cause a non gap metabolic acidosis due to hyperchloremia, which has been associated with increased acute kidney injury and increased mortality in both non critically or critically ill patients. Balanced salt solution may be used to reduce these incidents. 
using uh, sodium bicarbonate. The amount of sodium bicarbonate required can be calculated by the following formula. Uh, bicarbonate desired minus bicarbonate observed times 0.4 times body weight. Uh, the soda bicarb breaks down into carbon dioxide and uh, to carbon dioxide and water in the tissue. Rapid administration of uh, intravenous soda bicarb in a patient with the circulatory failure can uh, lead to intracellular acidosis if the accumulated carbon dioxide cannot be removed from the tissue. Additionally, the patient must have effective ventilation to eliminate carbon dioxide and should be able to handle the additional sodium and volume load. However, two randomized controlled trials comparing the effects of bicarbonate versus normal saline on critically ill patients requiring vasopressors demonstrated no improvement in hemodynamics with bicarbonate. Thus, the current evidence is strongly against the routine use of intravenous bicarb in the treatment of acquired forms of lactic acidosis. Uh, in medication summary, definitive treatment for the lactic acidosis is correction of underlying cause for type A lactic acidosis and removal of the offending drug toxin, uh, drug or toxin type B lactic acidosis. As previously stated, controversy surrounds the use of alkali in treating lactic acidosis. Thank you.